You're looking at today's earthquake report from electricquakes.org. Please remember to like and subscribe, and most importantly, to share this video. It really helps us. Earlier, you saw proton fluxes from the sun. Energy density changes often occur before major earthquakes on the uh, globe. You're also looking at the ratios of the number of magnitudes of each quake. Changes in the ratios of magnitudes of quakes also often precede earthquakes of larger magnitudes. You're seeing now across the globe the number of earthquakes that have occurred in the past 30 days, in the past 7 days, in the past 24 hours, and in the past hour. And along the bottom of the graph you will see a graph of earthquakes that have occurred in that time period color-coded by the area. Here we see the sun, any dark patches in the center of the sun aligned toward Earth often precede large deep earthquakes on the Earth. Here's a graph of the plasma densities striking the Earth in the past five days or so. Any increases in plasma densities often cause larger earthquakes. And here we see the total electron content above the Earth. Anomalies in total electron content have sometimes preceded earthquakes below that area on Earth. And now we see changes in the speed of the rotation of the Earth. Along with solar x-ray flux, solar proton flux, geomagnetic disturbances, and another graph of total electron content across the Earth. That's the report for today. Please remember to like and subscribe and visit our Patreon at Geopilot. Thank you.